Hey YouTube, welcome back. How are we all feeling after last episode? I just need to say, re-editing that was not fun for me. <laughs> but regardless, let's roll through the things and we can get on with the next one. So first things first, make sure you're subscribed and then click the little bell thing so that you are notified whenever I upload here. If you are interested in seeing full-length reactions to all these episodes, you can do so via my Patreon. It is linked down below along with a link to my main channel where I watch a bunch of other stuff so you can come hang out there too if you want. And last but certainly not least, leave a comment down below, but no spoilers, please and thank you. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Four. That's the amount of times that I have teared up and or cried since last episode. Last episode was awful. <laughs> Not the episode itself. Just the story. You guys get it. It's a story. It, it, it was awful. It was hard. It was so hard. I don't know what to expect this episode because part of me thinks we're going to go creature. I think we've probably got two episodes of creatures before we go back to main storyline stuff. But we can't just like ignore this like we're all still in mourning right like i'm still in mourning Every, like everyone's still in mourning right so i would think we'll address it i don't know what to expect i don't know what to expect but i do have tissues this time i just 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 in case I'm gonna try and be more prepared i want to laugh a little bit i want to laugh hopefully this episode we get to laugh maybe it will just be a lovely light and bright episode. I don't even believe that as it's coming out of my mouth, but that's what I'm putting out into the world, okay? Give me some bad eggs energy. That's what I need to get over Cal. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to see the world without Cal. Roop's gonna be so sad, and that is why I might cry. That's why I feel like I might cry. But I'm tough. Toughen it out this episode. It's just gonna be light and fluffy. Maybe fairies. Fairies are a great creature to have to fight off, right? Season two, episode 18, hoping for fairies. <laughs> yeah, already this doesn't have a fairy vibe to it. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, I'm patrolling. Yeah. Buffy, you're sick. World's spinning a little bit, but I like it. It's kind of like a ride. <laughs> you're only half a slayer. Yeah, but I'm still the slayer. And as long as I am, Angel's not gonna kill anybody else. Oh, come on. Just one more. Is this real? Yes. Not feeling well, lover? Regretting the leather pants now? They're not very fighter friendly. You should go for athleisure. You being off your game's kind of taking the fun out of all this. Nope. Still fun. <laughs> I hate him. Uh oh. This does not look good for our heroine. This is what y'all been preparing for. Good, good work, team. Buffy, you okay? I told you guys to leave. I, I... Oh, Buffy. shit. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Just the team like coming through. It's like, yes, you guys, yes. This is what we've been preparing for. Good work, you know, A plus. Fuck, he's such a dick. He's such a little shit. I can't. Okay, I can't miss dancing. I feel like I've missed dancing the last like bunch of episodes, you know? Oh damn, it's like serious, serious. What happened? The she fell. Did. The flu fainted and fell. She's sick, make it better. It's gonna be okay. Let's get her up. She's sick, make it better. I'll call Giles, tell him what happened. You call Buffy's mom, tell her not what happened. Just get her here. <laughs> Think of a good lie. Are we taking me home? No, Buffy, you need to lie down. My bed is better than any bed. This not my bed. She's still a little out of it. She right though. Jesus. It's got to be the fever. Yeah, it made her delusional. They're out there. Yes, uh, we'll, 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 uh, we'll get to those uh, vampires later. <laughs> yeah, it's best to, to play along. Oh, please don't make her stay there. When she was eight, her cousin Celia died in a hospital. Buffy was alone with her at the time. Yuck. I should go call her father. Um, uh, I think there's a, a phone. Someone's going to stay there, right? He can just walk right in. I hope I'm not out of line, but... 
I wanted to say how sorry I am about uh, that teacher, Miss Callender. Buffy said you were close. Thank you. Uh, Buffy's been so down since it happened. I mean, she never gets sick. Well, if, if you need anything. Thank you. <sighs> everything feels off still, which I guess makes sense because everything is off. We suffered an enormous loss. Everybody's a little off. But I don't like this for being in the hospital without one of them and their big bag of crosses. Hospitals creep me out too, though. It's like, they're just, they're just, they're just kind of like, bleh, you know, like a little eerie. <laughs> I don't blame her. I would want my own bed too and the safety of my own home. You know that thing on her face? You know that thing. Do you think Angel will attack Buffy in here? He can come in. It's a public building. That's true. Am I the only one that's noticed that thing? Yes. What is she talking about? <laughs> Let's cue the creepy music. Great. Great. It will be him. <sighs> because he, he, he's a little, you know. So her in the hospital, weak like this, it would, he, he will come potentially like torture her, but it would be too easy for him. And so I don't think it'll be him there right now, but something's there oh fuck off is that that is that billy or bobby or beefy what was his name like <laughs> no thanks I'll pass on this one. First of all, see, kids are terrifying. When they just stand and don't say anything, they're terrifying. Was that the, that's not the same kid as, um, was, I think his name was Billy or Bobby. Something B, you know, the kid from the Nightmares one that he's, that creeped around also being a little creepy kid. <laughs> he was in a hospital too, but then that thing behind him, I don't think we've seen him before. So like the boogeyman? Is that the boogeyman? I don't want this to be scary. I feel like I haven't been scared in a while. I don't like little kids creeping around in doorways and stuff. We gotta stop that. Let's put an end to to that. You're gonna you're gonna go investigate. You're gonna get us. Ooh, I feel eerie. I have goosebumps. <laughs> Make me do it again. Doing it again? <laughs> okay, it's okay. This is fine. Man, I hate it when you lose the young ones. I have the consent of the parents. They're desperate. They don't understand okay, what they do. If you have a problem with my myths, just take it up with the board. I have. He comes at night. The grown-ups don't see him. He'll come back for us. Who? Death. Visiting hours are over. Well, I'm pretty much family. Yeah. Why don't you come back during the day? Oh. Gee, no, I guess you can't. <laughs> if I decide to walk into Buffy's room, do you think for one microsecond that you could stop me? But I'm kind of curious to find out. You game? <laughs> Buffy's I white knight. It. it must just eat you up that I got there first. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> And I'm gonna be there. Tell her I stopped by. <laughs> he went along. <laughs> and like he didn't sneak in, he just went for visiting hours. Holy fuck. I loved that. That little scene between him and Xander. That was. <laughs> Holy fuck. 
you're going to die and I'm going to be there. He said, holy shit. Oh, everything is so intense. Okay. That was, I liked that scene. I liked that whole thing. Still don't like the kids though. <laughs> he comes, oh, he comes at night and the adults don't see him. He's a ghost. Because like, right? That's the thing. I just have a feeling it's not going to be like a cute willow kind of ghost, you know? I just have a feeling. Power group to the rescue! Help, help! You saved me! Thank you, Power Girl! You are saved me! Good job, now. Power Girl. Oh shit. Okay, here we go, here we go. Rip off the band-aid. Just open it. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Gotta fool me. How are you feeling? <laughs> Thanks for having me. Let's try and keep in touch. Not so fast. <laughs> you have to make sure that fever is gone. That's a strong virus you have. Maybe not as strong as you, but... Is that the same virus the kids have? Here we come in. Oh, they all have lovely sweaters on. Not to be outdone. Homework. It's my way of saying get well soon. You know, chocolate says that even better. Uh-huh. I did all your assignments. All you have to do is oh. sign your name. Chocolate means nothing to me. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I was out of the loop on gifts. It's, it's <laughs> traditional among um, people. Um... So this part I could get used to. Do you want me to go real fast? Yeah, I do. Just go real quick. I'm not sure what he's up to, but he's a little creepy. And then there was this kid, Ryan. <laughs> he said he saw something. It's not Bobby. Maybe it wasn't death. Maybe it was something else. It's the boogeyman. So is this the part where we say, what can we do to help? Yes, absolutely it is. Thank you for asking. Just gotta figure out what killed this little girl, Tina. We'll be out. <laughs> Five minutes tops. Easy. It'll be her. What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? That's true. But on the, we live on the Hellmouth side, these kids may have seen a monster. Oh, a monster that grown-ups can't see? Doesn't ring a bell. Does it? Unless... Boogeyman, right? Unless... Well, sometimes small children do see something we adults don't. Us. Ghosts. Our true selves, our, our hidden oh. faces. So the kids might be afraid of a regular person? <laughs> Not on the same page. You know, most people think that security <laughs> guards are just guys that failed the police exam. <laughs> But that's not me. Fear is for the weak. That's my motto. Either that or live in the now. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Do the second one. Oh, one of Dr. Backer's patients. Backer's yeah. a great man. Cough up the info. Sometimes they die. What was that? Yeah, what the fuck was that? You have the most perfect nose I've ever seen. You must work out. Nostril crunches all day. Get those nose workouts in, kids. You shouldn't be here. Why not? Contagious. Nah, I already got what you got. He'll come again tonight. <sighs> Great, can't wait. Is that like, what's his name? <sighs> I mean, I don't really watch, like, a ton of horror movies, which I know will come as a huge surprise to all of you. Um, but they've got their main guys, and I know I know Jason. Jason, Jason's the one with, like, the hockey mask. He's the hockey mask guy. That's Jason. And then there's another one. He's not the boogeyman, but he's... What the fuck is his name? It's, like, Krog. Kroger. Kroger. Kroger? Something... Something Kroger. Chad? Chad Kroger? That sounds familiar. Sounds from Chad Chad Kroger is the lead singer of Nickback. <laughs> you know, one of the main horror monsters, Nickelback. Who the, f <laughs> Who the fuck am I thinking of? I don't know. I'm just gonna go with Nickelback. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to whip out a guitar and start singing or something. <laughs> we both know that there are real monsters. Yep. 
But there's also real heroes that fight monsters. And that's me. Can't fight death. Optimistic. It's one thing about kids. They're very truthful. Reprimands for controversial experiments, risky procedures, a malpractice suit. Sounds like someone should take his license away. This may be our death guy? No. Nickelback is. Fuck, I, I, you know what else? I don't like hallways, especially the long ones. Let's just have all rooms touching and then they don't need hallways. What would you find? Would you come across my guy? He's gonna die, isn't he? He's gonna. Me. <laughs> Yum. I hate coffee cups in shows because what, what the hell? Why can't why can't actors like act like they're drinking coffee? I hate that they always look empty. I hate that his very first sip he tilted it to here. Your first sip is like 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 just a little, you know? It's if it's full, unless she's just bringing. It bugs me every time I can't get over it, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but I just like what's so hard about acting drinking? full coffees. If he like talks with it and just like has it all over the place, I'm gonna, it's gonna bug me. So just, just know that. The dramatic squirt. <laughs> Is it Chad? Oh shit, yeah, he's a ghost. Can you see him? We need to throw like a, the blanket. Remember with the, 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 I can't remember when else I said that, but I said it, I throw a blanket over and then, and then, I don't know. <laughs> this thing killed him and not with kindness. You saw it? No, it's invisible. Look at this photograph. This is your work? No, one of the kids. This is your work? It was. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Why would I see it then and not last night? Good morning. Get delirious again. Let's get drugged up. That might be the key to unlocking that part of your brain, you know? Honey, I, I just talked to the doctor and she said I can take you home. Oh, now I want no. to stay. No, <laughs> I should stay here. I, I feel all oogie. Increased ooginess, that's a danger signal. Charles, see if you can get a mugshot on that guy. I need to know what I'm fighting. Right. Let's go, let's go. Angel won't show till sundown, if at all, but maybe I'll get lucky with this death guy. Will you two stay alert? No, finding out who this thing is. Stay alert. Stay safe. Loki didn't finish his coffee. Guess he won't. Yep. Another person I wasn't in time to save. It's too bad mm. Angel didn't put me in the hospital sooner. Or raising their temperatures to burn the fever out of them. Would that work? According to this, it was starting to. So he really was trying to help the kids. Oh. Extracts vital organs to replenish its own mutating cells. Wow. Wow. What does this one do? <laughs> Elongates its mouth to uh, engulf its victim's head with this incisor. Ouch. Yeah. Wait, what does this one do? It asks <laughs> endless questions of those with whom it's supposed to be working so that nothing is getting done. I don't even know if we're on the right track. You're doing great. Well, it's not in here. Oh, I don't like that noise. It's me. I've got your monster. Where's Giles? <laughs> the name means child death. This book says that he feeds off of children by sucking the life out of them. Ugh. Because it would be looking at the children's ward as basically an all-you-can-eat kind of thing, you know? Buffet. Ew. <sighs> Why do I let you guys drag me into this stuff? <laughs> Just like I have regrets about joining this group. It must be uh, horrifying for the victim. Buffy? Hello? 
don't know what to do, Celia. Maybe my mind was playing tricks on me. I mean, I was crazed with that fever. Who knows? Buffy, think about this. I have some lots of thoughts. It's crazy. That's why Celia yeah. could see it. That's why Ryan still can. And that's why you could. Buffy, that's 100% pure. It'll kill you in an instant. Yeah, let's dilute it. They really should put that on the label. <sighs> <laughs> Needs to be diluted. Yeah. I'm not sure this was such a good idea. Hang in there. Me either, actually. I'm not very confident in this one. Well, what? I think it's in there. Oh. That's right, she can see you. <laughs> nope, not a fan. Not a fan of him at all. I'm going after them. Why do we always end up in basements and cemeteries? What's wrong? Oh. Okay. Funny you should ask. Come on now. You can do this the easy way. Frog. Okay, he kind of looks like the principal, right? <laughs> when I first saw him in the dark, I'm like, is that the principal? And then I saw his badge. I'm like, okay, it's not the principal. But like, they kind of look alike, right? I don't know. Maybe not. But he reminds me of the principal. <laughs> Help! Get him up! Frogs! Frogs! Smart Willow. Not her, the other one! <laughs> frogs! Come on. <laughs> Don't do that. Also, just stop breathing while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know how to kill this thing. I thought I might yeah. try violence. Solid call. Yeah, fair. You make me sick. She said you make me sick. Holy shit. Kind of weird to look at, right? It's kind of cool. But then you don't know what the status is. Is she winning? Is she not winning? Is she doing well? Is she cornered? You don't really know. Keep those things in your head. Keep those in your head. Teeth like right out of his. I think I'm starting to feel better. <laughs> Might have just been. Is that right? I mean, I heard something snap. That would be his neck. You're not gonna yak on me, are you? Without the crust, just the way you like it. And the juice? Two parts orange, one part grapefruit. Guys, we gotta stop hating on crust. I know, I know. I, all the time you see it. Take off the crust without the crust. What? Stop it. The crust is good. It's good bread. It's just bread a little harder. You need to stop hating on crust, okay? Please eat your crusts. <laughs> oh, Buffy, here. Um, this came in the mail? Oh, God, not mail again. It's from Ryan. The boy from the oh. hospital? Is it a picture? Oh, he drew you a picture. How nice. His own little version of a thank you card, you know? <laughs> well, uh, it wasn't exactly fairies. There was, there was no fairies involved here. I don't really know how I feel about this episode following up last episode. I'm probably just gonna have to sit on it for a little bit and like think through like all the stuff that happened because it's like, do I appreciate the cow really only came up once? Like once or twice? Or does that feel like glossing over it? To me, personally, it feels like glossing over it. But would I have been ready to talk about her more? Maybe not. Probably not. So maybe 
maybe it makes sense, but I was expecting a little more. Actually, I don't know. What the f- I was expecting fairies. Who knows what the hell I, what I want anymore. Don't really like ghosts. Don't really like kids and specifically kids in hallways and kids in hospitals. Don't really like the horror guy with the nose, uh, the Nickelback guy. Did like that Angel came to the hospital with flowers and that conversation with Xander. What the He's insane. He's insane. I also didn't think we would get like another Buffy angel fighting scene so quickly. So that was really interesting. I also just don't like being scared. And I didn't like that. It was scary. The music was weird. I don't really, I didn't even, I didn't even know that that like, that was a flat. I didn't, it didn't click for me right away that that was a flashback to Buffy right away. Because that little girl looks nothing like Buffy. She's not even blonde. (laughs) So that took a minute. But maybe I like that we didn't go too far into the Cal stuff. But I hope we don't just gloss over it all together because it's fucking Cal, man. Like, it's our best friend. One of mine, anyway. So then next episode is probably going to be another... Maybe we'll get fairies. It's going to probably be, like, another little Monster of the Week type one. There's just so much that I want to go down before the season's over. What are we on? We're on 17, 18. This is 18. I feel like we're running out of time for, like... But... Do you know what I mean? (laughs) We're running out of time for the thing I can't even say. I just feel like we have so much more to do. And by we, I mean like Spike and Drusilla. (laughs) Oh, but now I'm worried because maybe we're just like, we're just like taking it easy for a couple weeks before all hell breaks loose. Hell already broke loose. (laughs) Let's let hell have a break. All right. Well, we will wrap it up then. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.